for my body pod. I've worked on the idea of vestigiality, which is the um, the remnant in our bodies that we carry around with us from the evolutionary process that we've undergone and we're still undergoing to make us the the beings that we are. Any engineer who would build a human body would never put an appendix in. But the idea of vestigiality is it used to be useful. It's not useful now, it used to be useful. And the only reason we have it is it's a vestige of the past. Until we met in this studio to record the podcast we we'd never actually been in the same room we interacted virtually so we were online and uh, he brought a couple of ideas to me you know i was allowed to kind of rant on to joe about my pet theories about what this this little bit means about us and what what these little remnants of psychology um back from our if you think of it as our, our animal days if you like not that we're not animals now you know what the, what the implications of these things were for for us and our view of ourselves as as kind of beings at a specific time and he he was really great at saying yes and that makes me that makes me think you should be looking at this i think one of the really big turns for chris when he was thinking about the project was when he thought about the body like architecture and when we're talking on on skype you could just hear the penny drop on his end of the line where he he could understand a city like a body you know why is the traffic pattern the way it the way it is why does that awkward street corner exist when they could just pave over it and be done with it and and you could you could just hear him understand vestigiality whether it's just an awkward street corner or a bit of the body or 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 any other sort of contingent element of our lives that so like, yeah yeah the the present is built from the past true for traffic true for cities true for people i guess the fact that our approach the fact that we were able to have the really open conversation we had and spark off each other and that it didn't become very technical from either an artistic or a scientific side suggests our approaches actually weren't that different. You know, science is about so much more than just facts and figures. Science is about excitement and joy and inventiveness and hard work and clever thinking and also creative thinking. And I love when artists come in and they're so intimidated at the start by scientists. Then they find out the scientists are just people too. And they're excited about the same things that artists are excited about. They just simply know different stuff and they and they choose to explore the world in a slightly different way. And what I love about the Body Pod series is it brings those two communities into not a clash, but just into a, just a comfortable conversation. And at the end of the day, it it's about science helping art understand the world rather than the reverse. And I think in the 21st century, that's a huge contribution.